guys, I'm back to I'm going to read Colossians 1 to 4, 1 Thessalonians 1 to 3, Proverbs 23, and Psalm 91. Let's go to an apostle of Christ Jesus, my brother, God, and Timothy, our brother. To the saints and faithful brothers in Christ, to call us say, Grace to you and peace from God, to our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and pray for you since we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus. Not the love that you have for all the saints, because the hope laid off you in heaven. Now this you have for in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is from two, and even the whole world is bearing for it and crazy. As the earth said, as among you since the day you heard, understood the grace of God and truth, just as you learned it from a path as our beloved fellow servant. He is a fellow faithful minister of Christ in your heart. He has made known to us your love and spirit, and so from the day we heard, we will not cease to pray for you, asking that you must do you, maybe you heard the knowledge as well, and not spiritual as well as so that's to walk in a manner worthy of the life, more pleasing to him, being free and never good work, increasing the knowledge of God. He strengthened his all power according to his glorious mind, with all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to your heart. He has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his saints in life. He has delivered us from the joy and the darkness of the us to transfer us to the kingdom. Let us be loved and him we have redemption to begin to sins. If the image of the invisible God, the first one of all creation, for by him all things were created. In Hebrew, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, with thrones of dominions of laws or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and all things are all in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church, he is the beginning, the first one of the heaven and death. And everything he might be very man, for in the world of forms of the last place to go. And through him he can reconcile him to himself all things, put on earth and heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross, and ye who were once were alien, and lost no mind, doing evil deeds, he is now reconciled in the body of Christ by his death. In order to present your holy and blameless and above reproach before him, if indeed you continue your faith, therefore the step is not stiffening from the hope of the gospel which you, that you have, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. Now I rejoice in my suffering for your sake, and my flesh I have in our world is lacking in Christ's flesh, and seek his body with the church, of which I became a minister, according to the normal stewardship of whom God has given to me for you, to make it the word of God and fully known, the mystery of him for ages. And Ages and generations, and now, but now we're to these things. And so then God chose to make man how good among the Gentiles are that should boy. Now this mystery, it's just Christ in the hope of God. And in him, him we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we can present them all. And in, in Christ, so this I, so this I taught, I struggle with all the energy that he powerfully works within me. Now I want you to know how great a struggle I have for the infinite reason that I see. Now that I see it for all who have not seen me face to face, and that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together now, to reach all the riches of all strength and understanding and knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ. In him I hid all the treasure, and was done not just his, and I did not make the living, and of course, what I was going to say, that I am absent in God. And yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and firmness, firmness of your faith in Christ, and if I see you see Christ Jesus, then so walk in it, and root it, and build it. Helping him in the of the faith. This is your tour, abounding with thanksgiving. Yeah, you too, that none takes you captive. None takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit. And according to human tradition, according to elemental spirits that were, and not according to Christ, reigning the whole force of deity dwells bodily. And you have been filled with, filled with him. He is the head of all, all, all in the glory. And you know, as he is circumcised with the circumcision made with our hands, by putting off the body of the flesh, and by the circumcision of Christ, having been buried within a baptism. In which you are raised with him through faith in the powerful work of God. The reason I have a dead, and you are dead in your trespasses, and then circumcision of flesh, God made alive to take you them, and have forgiven us all our trespasses by cancelling the law, and God did not stay against us with his legal demands. This he set aside, and he took us, he disarmed the law, and his authorities put them to a shame by triumphing over him, and therefore none of that, or therefore let no impostation on you. In questions of food and drink, or with regard to the slow and you and the Sabbath, he is not of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. And not just God for you, insisting on asceticism and worship of angels, but not in detail about vision, puffed up without reason by a sensuous mind, and not holding fast to the head from the whole, from him the whole body nourished, and knit together through his joints and like my scars with the great bears from God. If with Christ he died to the elemental spirits of the and if, as if he was still alive in the world, do you submit to regulation? Do not have, do not taste, do not touch, according to human precepts and teaching. And these indeed have an appearance of wisdom in propriety. And promoting self made religion as a sincerity to the body, and they are no value in stopping the indulgence of our flesh. And if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seeing at the right hand of God. So ye are minds of things that are above, not things that are on the earth. You have died in your life, so you have been questioned by when Christ is your life, 
Hey, I still love here with him in Gore, but to death they have always got nothing to do sexual immorality, and impurity, and passion, evil design, and covetousness. Covetousness, which is idolatry. When the counter these the wrath of God is coming, in these two you once walked, and you were living in them, and now you must put them all away. Anger, wrath, and lust, slander, obscene talk from your mouth. Draw lies one another, saying that you have put the old self with this practice, and you have put on the new self. And you saw what just being renewed in knowledge after the image of the creator. Here there is the great and the Jew. Here there is no Greek and Jew. Circumcised and not a circumcised barbarian, slightly slave, a slave, free, but Christ is the one in all. Put on them as God chose ones, holy and beloved, compassionate, holy and kindness, kindness, and other meekness, patience, bearing from the people who have complained, and this is not forgiven, and so this love is forgiven. So you also must have given above all these problems. Which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and uh, perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ will in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body. And be thankful that the word of Christ dwells in you richly, each and every one of one another in all wisdom. And sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thanks, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Whatever you do, in the world, you do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through Him. Why I submit to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord, husbands, love your wives, and don't be harsh with them. Do not obey your parents and everything, for this place is uh, do not provoke your child, lest they become just gross. On sins, obey in everything that is your own, your own, your own, But by way of eye services, people please go with sincerity of heart, and will. Whatever you do, work hard with the Lord, not for me. Know that from the Lord you receive the inheritance of your world. There is seven below Christ, for the wrong to be paid back, the wrong to be has done, and there is no partiality. Masters treat your bonds, and just leave that. And then that you are sent out, Master in heaven. Because the dignity starts with the prayer being watched with blood, and thanksgiving, at the same time, prayers are for us. And God may open to us the door of the Lord, to declare the mystery in mean, Christ on the path which I am because now I make it clear which is how I ought to walk in wisdom toward the outside, so you can best use the time. Make speech always be gracious, season with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Now, Jesus will tell you all about my activities. He is a beloved brother in faithfulness and a fellow servant of God. I send him to you for this very purpose, one that you may know how you are, and that he may encourage your hearts and make them once in this our faithful and beloved brother who is only you. They will tell you of everything that takes place here. Is the just my father present that great to mark the cousin of Barnabas and Jesus was called Justice, they are the only men in the circumcision, and only a fellow work through the kingdom of God. And they have been a comfort to me. A paraphrase who is one of you, selling Christ Jesus Christ. I will struggle on your behalf in his prayer. And that you may stand mature in the Holy Spirit and all the will of God. And all the will of God. Right there, I, I am witness that it's work hard for you, for those in my see. And here I bless the work the beloved for this and greet you. As to the tears, give my greetings to the birth of the Addis and to Nephilim and the church in the house. And then this letter is being read among you, so I have it as a And to the Addis and see that you are so reading the letter from the Addis. I say to Archibald, see that you fulfill the ministry that you are receiving the Lord. I will write this great in my own hand, remember my church. Grace be with you. I want this language 1 to 3. And Paul so writes and thank you to the church of the first language. In God the Father and Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God for all the consistency, consistently mentioned in our prayers, remembering and before our God and Father, your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that love for God that He has chosen you, because our love for Him do not only work, but also in power and the Holy Spirit and full conviction. You know what kind of men we proved to be among the first day, and He became imitated to us in that love. He received a wide and much affliction, and the joy of the Holy Spirit, and so that He became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Church. Not only is the word of the Lord sent forth from you in Macedonia and Church, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere. So we need not say anything for they themselves, but for the same as the kind of reception we have among you. And how do you turn to God from our sad living and true God? And wait for a son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. Do you see for those from the right to come? Because your souls know that us, now coming to you is not in vain. But though we had already suffered and have been shamefully treated as well by our fellow as you know, we have borne us in our God to the country of the gospel. They got in the midst of much conflict, for our appeal does not spring from the error or impurity or any attempt to see, but just so we have been approved by God, who have been trusted with the gospel, so we speak. Not to please men, but to please God who tests the hearts. We never came as words of family, as you know, nor with the pretext of great God's witness. Nor do we seek growth from people, whether from you or from others. We know we could have made demands as our apostles of Christ. We are gentle money, making nothing about taking care of angel, but being dead, affectionately desirous of you. We are ready to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our ancestors. And you become very good day to us. We remember that our labor and toil we recommend it, and that we might not be a burden to any of the world or claim to you the gospel of God. Your witnesses and goddess, how holy and righteous and blameless, how is our conduct to all you believers? You know how, like a father with children, we exhort each one of you, 
encouraged you and tries you to walk in my own with you, God. You're causing this anchor and God. You used to thank God constantly for this that when you said the word of God, and she had for us, you stuff to deny the word of man, but what it really is the word of God. And hey, she's out working you, please. We you guys can aim taste of the churches to grow in Christ Jesus, and you know, who suffered the same things for your own country, and the death from the Jews who killed both the Lord Jesus and the Lord, and drove us out to and displeased God and praise all mankind. And he knew us in the sweet church and thought that they might be saved. So as always to call up the measure of this, may I come upon them in the last instance, you torn away from me, and for a short time in person, not in heart, we endeavoured the more eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face, because we want to come to see you, come to you. I pour again and again the same hymn, thus, what is our hope and joy of crown and bursting for our Lord Jesus coming? It is not you, for you are our glory and joy, and therefore all we can bear in the long, but will and gain life behind Athens, Lord. We send Timothy, our brother and God's co worker, and the gospel of Christ, to establish and exhort you in our faith, and that no one be moved by the affliction. Well, you yourselves know that we are destined for this. And when we are with you, we kept, we kept telling you beforehand that we were to suffer affliction just as it has come to pass, and just as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent a line about your faith. I fear that some have attempted to add to this time to and our labor with you in faith. And now that somebody has come to us from you, as well as the good news of your faith and love and accord, that you always remember what's coming and long to see us. So long to see you for this reason, but it's not just just in the future. We've been comforted by you through your faith. For right now, we are standing fast in the world. Well, what thanksgiving can we return to God for you? All well, the joy that we feel for your sake, for our God. As we pray most earnestly night and day, that we may see you face to face and supply what's lacking in our faith. Now may our God and Father and Himself and our Lord Jesus direct that way to you, and may the Lord make you increase in the battle of love, one another and a whole, as we do too. So that we may establish a heart for lightness and holiness before our God and Father, and the coming of our Lord Jesus with all the saints. Proverbs 23. When you sit down to eat with us, and we will observe carefully what is before you. Put a knife to your throat if you are given to appetite. Do not decide to do it because they are deceptive. Food. Do not talk to a part with you, just setting up to do this when your eyes lie on your school. So then you start throwing like you can eat toward heaven. Do not eat the bread of a man who is stingy. Do not decide to do it he is like one who is ill and they can't give you He says to you, his heart is not with you. You have vomited the muscles of your being and wasted the person words. Do not speak in the hearing of all. He will describe the good sense of your words. Do not move an ancient man, Mark or into the food of the fox. But they are a demon strong. He will plead the court against you. I'll play hard to instruction. And it was an orange. No thought does not harm child. If you strike him with a rod, he will not die. If you strike him with a rod, you will save the soul from sure. I said, and if you are not have to overcome it, you must be in the soul. You have to see what is right, then you your heart and be sent. But if you need the fear of the Lord, then surely there is a future and your heart will not be cut off. Get my son be wise and direct your heart in the way. You know, among drunkards or among gluttonous ears of me. The drunkard and the glutton will come to pop you and stumble, put them to rack. Listen to your father, give your life, and don't despise me, my mother, and choose all. I choose and do it so, but I wish an instruction on stay. Father the righteous will grant you, so you pass away somewhere to run him. And your father mother be glad that I had a boy you did. My son, give me your heart, and then your eyes observe my eyes, where it pushed you the deep end. And our daughter is an hour, she likes a weight like a rope, and increase the trees among mankind. Who is white, who is star, who is striped, who is complaining, who is winked out the course, who is redness of eyes, those who tie along every wine, those good try makes wine. Do not look on wine when it's red, when it sparkles in the cup and goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a sun, it stings like an eye. Your eyes will see strange things, and your heart are the first things. You'll be like one who lies down in the midst of the sea, like one who lies on top of the moss. They struck me, you'll say, but I'll not hurt their beat, but I do not feel it. When will I wake up? I must have a drink. Prophet Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Verse 6. Psalm 91. He dwells in the shelter that most high will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortune. I have gone to my trust. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowl and from the deadly pestilence. And he will cover you with the pinions. And this means you will find refuge in my fear. His faithfulness is the shield and buckler. You will not tear the terror of the night, fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand in your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look at the eyes, see the wicked paths of the wicked. may the Lord you know, which the most high is a my refuge, and that you shall be able to perform it. No plague come near your time, he will command you to say, God in all your ways. On the hand, they will be well, unless you strike your foot against the stone. You turn on the lion and the lion, you lion, and suddenly you tremble underfoot. And he holds fast to me, and I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He calls me out and says, I will be with him in child. I'll rescue him and honor him. With my long life, I'll satisfy him. And share my salvation. Now it's done, and she now did the Lord's prayer. He is right hand, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and be done on earth as he is in heaven. He is to our daily man, because the rest of us are doctors. He is long to taste of this in the world. There's a king in the pound of the grave of our men. See you tomorrow. Bye.